An Alameda County Sheriff's deputy was formally charged today with two counts of murder for allegedly killing a married couple in Dublin. Our crime reporter Henry Lee was in court today and joins us now with the new information in this case. Henry. Well, Heather, the gunshots were heard on a 911 call made by the husband as he was killed. And now the deputy's been charged with special circumstances murder. That means he could face life in prison without parole if he's convicted. Alameda County Sheriff's Deputy Devin Williams Jr., now a criminal defendant charged with two counts of murder and the shooting deaths of a married couple in Dublin. A crime even more shocking because the alleged 24-year-old gunman had a promising future. He's a bright, caring, articulate individual, and it's a tragedy. Authorities say Williams shot and killed 57-year-old Benison Tran and his wife of two decades, Maria Tran, at the couple's home in Dublin. Both were shot in the head and neck. Investigators say Williams had been involved in a romantic relationship with Maria Tran, who was a nurse. Sources tell me the killings may have resulted from jealousy connected to a love triangle. I've learned Benison Tran, a retired civil engineer for the city of Santa Clara, called 911 to report an intruder at their home at 1245 Wednesday morning. Six gunshots could be heard on the 911 call, and he dropped the phone. Authorities say Williams took off in his car. When Dublin police arrived and asked who did it, a witness said, Devin, and he's a cop. Six shell casings were found at the crime scene. Police say the 9mm ammunition matches those used by the sheriff's office. On Friday, the Alameda County DA charged the deputy with two counts of murder and special circumstances of multiple murder and murder to avoid arrest, but his arraignment was delayed. Relatives and friends of the deputy declined to comment afterward. A cousin tells me 42-year-old Maria Tran was kind-hearted, loving, and always went above and beyond as a frontline nurse during the COVID pandemic. I expect that the... Uh... The defense will reveal itself as the case proceeds. Defense attorney Jesse Garcia would not comment on the evidence. It's profoundly tragic what happened. Nothing that we do or say in this courtroom is going to change the lives of the family of the victims. Deputy Williams has been served with a notice of termination. He's being held without bail at Santa Rita Jail in Dublin, where he had worked an overtime shift just hours before the killings. Live in the studio, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.